Well, amongst those hit hardest by the COVID-19 pandemic and being out of work are people that we don't necessarily hear that much about. They are our local professional artists. And joining me now is Helene Luce. She is from the Baltimore County Office of Tourism to tell us how the office is helping them. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. So tell us a little bit about the artists here in Baltimore County and how they've been affected by this pandemic. Well, as you know, many of our um, events have been canceled. Uh, so artists who were planning to show their work at exhibits or perform in the theater or uh, music productions, they're all not being able to earn the living that they were counting on. And so how is the Baltimore County um, Department of Tourism sort of coming in and helping? Our government, uh, led by Johnny Oshevsky, is very supportive of the arts, and um, he has made available $100,000 in um, $1,000 increments as stipends for artists to help them recoup some of their financial losses during this time. And can you share some of the details about how the grants are being made available? Uh, on our website, you will be able to apply directly through a portal for um, each, for the individual grants. And what do the artists need to do to qualify? They need to prove that they are residents of the county over the age of 18 and that they engage in some artistic endeavor and that is construed pretty broadly. What can the grants be used for? Um, any of the things that have affected them, such as recouping losses, from canceled performances or art-related travel expenses, um, other art matters. Um, some of our artists are teachers and they have also had their classes canceled. So any, any loss of income along those lines. And we well, are- it, I'm sorry, sorry, go ahead. We are prioritizing um, those artists whose income is $37,500 $37, or less. Okay. So um, we're trying to help the people who have been hit the hardest. It's amazing that, you know, the Office of Tourism is, is doing this just to support the arts. I feel like at a time like this is when we really realize how important it is. So to help these artists and performers at a time when they need it most, it, it benefits everyone. So where can they go? Should they just go to the website? Correct. And if they um, search for individual artists, the page will pop right up and the application will be live. Helene Luce, thank you so much for being with us. Really appreciate it. And we will be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.